Alright. Muller right now is in a pretty good spot, balance-wise, I think. Overall. They just they feel like a good they feel like a good character, they have solid tools. Um, you know, like there, there's a bit of weak the bit a few things that can be toned down like dash attack, for example, is really, really good. Um, on a character that should be like a more like a zoner archetype doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, otherwise, characters got some pretty solid options. Pretty, pretty good overall. People have been sleeping really hard on Hollow. Um, right now, Firecracker. Okay, like Firecracker and Flashbang are the two best mobs right now. Uh, cause Firecracker is really good neutral, like there. Um, cause you could cover stage. You just cover stages with Firecrackers, and uh, your opponent can't. Your opponent really can't do much about it. Can't really contest that. Like, control. Um, that exists too. You can also you hit the bombs, and then if you um, hit them into someone, they instantly explode. Basically. So you can also do stuff like catching yourself, um, catching yourself with your own with your own firecracker. So it. Uh, there we go. You can catch yourself with your own firecracker, so you can negate all knockback by just standing on a firecracker and then parrying it when it goes off. So that way you take no hits done. Um, Another cool thing you could do with Molo, let me get the baseball real fast, is uh, you can time it and parry the. Uh... Oh, they fixed it! Never mind, they fixed it. Alright. Molo's not broken OP because uh, she can't parry baseballs anymore. Sad, but had to be done. Uh, as far as normals go, because we've already established that Molo's uh, smash attacks are actually pretty nuts. Um, normals are, feel pretty decent. The only one that feels underwhelming right now is Fair. Because fair just takes a bit of time to 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 get working, and like that's fine for callouts, and it's a nice callout move. But I feel like it could possibly be improved um, by making it so it uh make it so it's a bit easier to use. Um, fair is an amazing tool, um, and I get why it turns you around. Like it's a bit annoying at first, the fact that it turns you around, but you realize how good it is that it kind of needs that that uh, execution barrier. Because you can't, you don't want people just like you know roaring, or just constantly like bearing people, just short hop bearing. So it's a nice, um, nice execution. Oh, they did change dash attack too, I think. Let's see. So gun is actually pretty. This is a really good spot too, I think. Um, I really like this little small hurt box that combos into people, um, and yeah, obviously the large one that shoots shoots people's good. It's got a good amount of um, startup. I really like the floaty to it. It was like not good on lock, so I'm praising it for a good bit. Um, Finisher still needs some work, I think. Like this thing's near useless because of how uh, how long it takes to explode, even with even with like all the changes to make it so you can hit it more. You, it just it just takes too long. So nerfing its power and making it um, come up faster, like slightly faster, probably should probably be in order. They did address um, down B, the down A, but I haven't had much time to to, to, uh, well, to test it out, so I won't be saying much about Molo down B. Well, I do say that Molo is uh, in a really good spot. Like I said, I think, do think that this is a per this is a tough matchup for Molo, just because Rano does have the tools to uh, deal with Molo shenanigans. But it's obviously doable because Rivals is balanced around that. Let me show you some of the stuff you can do with Firecracker. Not rip. I've seen people do some really crazy stuff with uh, Molo, Molo Uppy. Oh yeah, Molo's recovery right now is actually really, really good. That might be another thing that needs another nerf because, like, I think this character, like, this character's weaknesses are that it has no, you have to set up in the strong, so it's it has kind of like a weird Marthritis. Or it's not based off of your percent, but you have to reach your reach your opponent really to get a, to get a uh, a smash attack off at the right time. I mean, that's like with most cases, but but Molo is especially kind of weird to get it. And parry punishes are a bit weak, obviously, because you don't have a, a good smash attack. But that, I mean, it's not like usually smash attacks are like the best parry punishes, but they're solid. But this character doesn't have that option. Um, edge guarding is actually pretty strong. 
It does take a bit of knowledge. Like, like most things with models, okay, it just takes a bit of knowledge to get. Uh, I can never combo into two, but, um, or I can never combo F, 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 let's call it, U air into D2 too well. You know, that's actually, it's actually pretty solid. I've seen people do it consistently, so I'm not dogging it. I say that as I get it twice, but that never happens. <laughs> Our overall model is in just a really good spot. Um, maybe a bit, like a bit overtuned in some places, but overall just has a solid, 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 you know, solid moveset, solid ideas, solid weaknesses. Just some, just slight tweaks, really.